Hello, people. I hope you're all doing good out there. It's your boy, Myra Shot, Savage Kobe Yaqua, a.k.a. Iceman X. And today, I want to talk to you all about what living your life is. Living your life is you pursuing your craft or what you love to do. Your craft is what inspires you to go f beyond your full potential that you get to express yourself to other people with. Because being a slave to a corporation, straining your body, straining your mind, your heart, and your soul, wasting your potential and time on things that you know that you could touch others with, and you're being a slave to a nine to five, doing nothing productive at all, it's real sad. Because let me tell you this take this for example. If you have snobby managers and stuff like that, if you have snobby managers and they tell you and, and you, you go to work from like 7 to 11 or something like that, you do everything in your stuff, getting the stuff off on the truck and stuff like that, you know, listening to the boss and, and stuff like that, right? Then after, you, after you're done sweating and things like that, they tell you to come back from 4 to 9 after... You know, getting getting off from 7 to 11. That's bullshit, right? You shouldn't have to live that way. No human being does. Because your craft is important to the whole universe. Because let me tell you something, guys. If I'm not doing music, if I'm not doing football, I'm not motivated. Because that is the, football and music is what keeps me productive. And what helps me, like, inspire others because music and football is my life. Like, that's the life I desire to live. Like, society shouldn't have to, like, force me to live a life that I don't desire. You, f you feel what I'm saying? And that goes for every single one of you out there. I know you think about that every time, but you've just been afraid to say it. I have to get up and say it myself because I'm tired of the BS myself. Because, like, living your life to a 9 to 5 is not, is not cutting it at all, man. Like, you're wasting your potential what you're born with. You're born to work on your craft to, to inspire others with what you express out with the things that you love to do. Because you want to feel alive every day. You don't want to, like, you know, feel dead, like, you know, strain your body at, at a corporation. And on top of that... There's people at the corporation that you work with that don't give a fuck about you. And, you know, they don't want to get to know you on a personal level and the things that you're trying to achieve. And, like, I know how that feels because, look, I tell you this, man. What good is it to be at a 9-to-5 corporation when you could be out here living your life, doing what you love to do, Reaching out to a whole bunch of people, you'd be recognized for the things you're good at. Because let me tell you something. Every single human being on the universe wants, desires to be recognized for what they're good at. For what they put their love into. Right? Everyone does. Me. Like, I, 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 I desire to be known for the music that I put out. I desire to be known for, like, you know, how much I give my all playing football and stuff like that. But the reason why not too many people know me like that, because I don't get a chance to work on my craft and my potential. And I'm going to tell you something else right here. Let me tell you a thing about why Lonzo Ball is a great dad. See, I'm not Lonzo Ball, but LeVar Ball. My bad. LeVar Ball is a great dad, a great parent, because he always, like, you know, made sure his kids were be able to do the things that they love to do in the future. And don't have to be a slave to a corporation. And LeVar Ball, he one of the people that, you know, he speak whatever is on his heart, mind, and soul. And he don't care about what nobody in society says. That's what I like about him. And LeVar Ball is the reason why Lonzo Ball is with the LA Lakers right now in the NBA. He's the reason why he got drafted. Because, let me tell you something, parents are the reason why parents are made to, like, you know, help out their children when their children are done everything they can working on their craft, but they haven't got recognized yet. But the parent steps in and helps them get more viral. You see what I'm saying? Like it helps the child, the children get more viral quicker than what they can do on their own. And we need more parents to like help their children like be able to like, you know, be able to pursue their craft 
a path to glory for the life that they desire to live. Because living your life is working on your craft to inspire others. That's what living life is. I live my life to inspire others with my music and my way of playing football because, like, that's what makes me happy. Uh, going to a 9 to 5 doesn't make me happy at all. Like, and here's the thing, y'all. I'm a quiet person. So, like, most people will assume, even my own blood relatives will assume that, you know, I don't be happy, like, all the time because, like, you know, I always have a blank face and stuff. But never really take consideration that, you know, music and football is what I love to do for my whole entire life. That's the life I desire to live. Like, no, nah, like, I, 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 I don't I don't like when people in corporations tell me what to do. Like, I'm not a slave. Like, you shouldn't have to live your life with, like, you know, somebody telling you what to do, this and that. You're like, no, that's slave shit, man. I don't give a fuck. That's slave shit. You shouldn't have to strain your body for some damn dollars. And that's the reason why the whole planet Earth is so fucking corrupted and there's a lot of land lost. And Mother Nature is mad at that shit. Because we resolve ourselves around money and stuff like that. But that's another topic for another day. But it all ties out to the things what I'm talking about here on this video right here now. On this live audio. I'll even upload it twice if I got to on Facebook. Just to make sure I know that it's getting views. Because it needs to be heard. Even people in the local area that don't fuck with me. Never supported me. Never got the chance to know me personally. And what I like to do. Like... It's gonna be it's gonna be heard and shared around. Like, hell, even if, even if people in my job gets to see this shit, it needs to be heard. It needs to be heard and understood because this is what living your life supposed to be, man. I'm not gonna try to keep this video too long. And like you know, anyone that gets mad at these like you know thoughts that I just shared might look at it as shade. I'm not throwing shade. I'm just Giving a real savage talk right here, man. It's real bullshit and fed up. Like, <laughs> I mean, like, t t come on now. If a manager tells you, like, to come back at an unscheduled time when you really gave your all of the hours that you put in just to fucking survive to have food for your next meal and you got a life to live outside of the, of the job that you work at a 9 to 5, so you can like get more time to inspire people with the crap that you love to do to get to do what you're doing. Doing what makes you happy. That's what's important. Your freedom is more important than money. And most people are going to disagree with that because most people have felt, most people have like, you know, been doing, working with, being a slave to a corporation for like majority over like over a hundred years to the point that if you tell them that you know money isn't more important money is more important than your freedom and stuff like that and your happiness like they'll tell you that they'll they'll tell you some stuff like that me your freedom is more important than 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 money like inspiring other people with your craft so the whole universe can be a better place to live in is more important than money. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. And yeah. I'm speaking real savage stuff right now. I mean I could choose to like you know use big words. But like I want to be brief to the point man. I don't give a fuck if. You know the people at, at my job sees this. I don't give a fuck if. I don't, I don't give a fuck like whoever the goal sees this. Like if they share this around. They better, like, get this message and help this, like, be heard to a lot of people so they can start, like, you know, working on their craft. Because this is sick. It's real sick. It is truly sick. And you all can thank me for being able to get on video and, and find a time. To explain why living your life of freedom, 
or working on your craft or what you love to do to inspire others. Expressing yourself through what you love to do is more important than being a slave to a corporation nine to five. Because let me tell you guys, whether you all like it or not, ever since like you know people start like earning money and stuff like that, I mean, most of the time we're all still slaves. We're slave to the money and all that stuff, man. Like because we all got got pay bills and, and, and bullshit like that and tax. Like, let me tell you that, man.